2008 Evinrude 40, 50, or 60 horsepower E-Tech will not crank or turn over refers to when the outboard motor's crankshaft fails to turn and start the engine. This video discusses the main reasons why an Evinrude E-Tech outboard motor will not crank and what you can check so as to remedy the starting problem. Now whenever you're working on your outboard engine, I highly recommend that you get a repair manual. You can download one instantly by going to 911manual.com and just click on where it says Marine Manuals, then Johnson Evinrude Manuals, and then you can just download the manual you need instantly. Okay, so number one, the battery switch is not on. Now you'll want to check the battery switch operation. Make sure it's on. Number two, discharged battery. Check the battery. Charge it, or if you need to, replace it. Number three, battery cables and connections. Clean and tighten connections of any corrosion. Check for voltage drop in the starter circuit. Number four, faulty connection or ground or damaged electrical harness. And what you need to do is check all grounds, connections, and wiring. Number five, the 10A fuse. Check the wiring, then replace faulty fuse. Number six, wiring harness. Check for a 12 volt at terminal B of the key switch. Number seven, key switch. Check key switch operation. Number eight, starter solenoid. Check wiring and test the solenoid. Number nine, starter or drive gears. So you need to check the starter and inspect the drive gears. Number 10, seized power head or gear case. And basically, you're just going to have to check and repair that as needed. Anyway, these are the main reasons why an Evernrude E-Tech motor will not crank. So if your motor will not crank, it's likely because of one of these 10 reasons. Hope you found this helpful.